Yo, what is going on guys? JSJ back with another GTA 5 online video for you guys today. And in today's video, I'm actually bringing you guys a video on how to make loads of money on GTA 5 online. You will actually get RP as well from doing this method in today's video. Now, this is a glitch. You will actually be needing to go AFK for this if you want to make the most amount of money as well. As by the title, it is completely solo, so you don't have to worry about having a friend to do this glitch. And it literally takes no requirements at all. So before we get into today's video, we're actually going to set a like target of 50 likes on today's video. You guys actually smash every single like target on my video so thank you guys so much for that but we're going to see if we can smash 50 likes in 24 hours on today's video as well as that this week's modded account giveaway is still actually active so if you do want to be entered into that modded account giveaway all you have to do is follow the instructions on screen right now also if you do need any help with today's glitch or any other glitches on this channel make sure you join the discord server link is in the description below make sure to smash a fat like and subscribe and let's get straight into today's video so to start off guys, what you actually need to do, you need to go ahead and start up this mission. Now it is a similar mission, so you just want to go to pause, you want to go to online, play jobs, rockstar created. Now when you've actually clicked onto rockstar created, what you're going to do is find Simeon's jobs. Now they're all listed together in one section, so they're not hard to find at all. Now you're going to be looking for the specific job that I actually start up. It is called repo, something like that. So you're going to go up to missions, then you're going to go ahead and find Simeon's jobs. Now there we go, it's called Repo Under The Hammer, the last one, so you're just going to go ahead and start up that mission. Now when you actually load into this mission, what you want to do, you can go ahead and start this solo, make sure you are actually the host of it. So if you don't actually get the option to host it, make sure you back out and try it a bit later. But as you can see, I actually load up and get the option to be host. Now you should actually get this option quite a lot as nobody really plays this mission. So you just need to make sure that you are actually the host of this mission. Now if you can't actually get a host, go into an invite only session and then go ahead and host up the mission and that way you should actually be able to get host a whole lot easier. But anyway guys just make sure you're not playing with randoms at all. Once you're actually in the game go ahead and start it up. You can actually go ahead and do this with a friend if you want to. Just make sure it's somebody reliable so it's not randoms because you don't want them to mess it up but as you can see i've just gone into the mission on my own now i recommend using an armored vehicle like a karuma to actually get the vehicle while you're doing this because there is a lot of police and it will take you a bit of time to kill them so just go ahead and kill the police it's not that long as you can see i'm just flying through it but i do actually die because i'm just messing around at this point i wasn't really paying attention but if you do actually get an armored karuma or any other armoured vehicle, you can literally just go in there, kill all the police by staying in the car, then go ahead and hop into the vehicle and go ahead and take it to the location that I will actually show you guys. But as you can see, I'm just messing around here and I think I died here, yeah, I just died. But right here, what you would actually do, just go ahead and take out all the police. You don't even have to take out all the police if you don't want to. You can go ahead and run straight to the vehicle. As you can see, I'm just taking out a few police right now and the vehicle is actually in there. Now there is actually two vehicles that are actually in this mission and what you're going to do, you're going to get the first vehicle and then you're not actually going to collect the second vehicle at all. So as you can see the vehicle is right here, we're going to go ahead and get into the vehicle, now we're going to go ahead and take it to the actual location that it is telling us to go. Now when you actually get to this location, you don't want to go back and get the second one as it will be telling you to do, you want to actually stay at that location that it's actually marked. So here the police will be hot on you, what you need to do is lose the police, so you can actually just drive to the location, you can't actually call Leicester as it is a mission, Leicester is not an option, so you just have to drive around and try to actually lose the police, but it is actually really easy to lose the police once you actually get over to the docks. So I recommend just driving straight over to the docks and then when you are at the docks just go around and drive around the containers and it should be alright. Make sure that you do actually set it to the hardest mode as well. As you can see at the start of the game, it gave me the option of easy, normal and hard. Make sure you choose hard as hard gives you mo the most amount of money and RP while you actually complete this mission. So as you can see at the bottom, it says lose the cops right now. So what you're going to do, just go ahead and drive to the docks. Now there will be a few, please. I recommend you just take the path that I'm taking. So as you can see, I just cut through here. And then I'll literally just go ahead and ride around the docks for a bit. 
until I actually lose the police. It only takes about a minute to actually lose the police. As you can see, the police just kept crashing into me. But it doesn't matter if the vehicle is actually damaged or that. Just make sure that you don't actually destroy the vehicle completely. As you can see, I'm crashing the car and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. It's not affecting the job at all. But you do actually only have one life when you put it on hard. So make sure you don't die twice. I actually died. I don't know how I died. I was just messing about. I won't really pay the attention. So make sure you are just staying in that armoured Karuma just to finish the first part. But now you are in the vehicle and you're at the docks, what you're going to do here is just go ahead and drive around the block. Just drive around a couple of times and you will notice that the police actually can't find you and you will be able to see the police on the radar. Just make sure that you avoid them as best as possible. You can just stay in this location here, they don't really come up to this corner right here for some reason. So just go ahead and stay in this little strip right here and you should actually lose the police very easily. So once you actually lose the police, which will be at about 30 seconds time because it does actually take about a minute for the police to actually be lost you're actually going to go ahead and deliver the car so there we go 30 seconds time i told you guys so now we're just going to go to the location right here and you're actually just going to park the car in the location so as you can see it's right here just do a quick quick little turn and there you go place the car into the slot now it's going to tell you to get the second target, you're not actually going to get the second target. What you're going to do, run over to this car park right here and you're just going to go ahead and grab a vehicle from this car park. So make sure it isn't a big vehicle, just make sure it's like a normal car, it's not like a big van or anything like that or like a truck, just make sure it is just a normal car like this. Now once you're actually in this car, what you're going to do, you're going to go back over to the vehicle that you just placed and there's this there's a little ramp like a little garage bit you're going to literally just drive into that garage so what you're going to do here you're just going to hold acceleration on your remote so th your car is actually driving forward and you're going to go ahead and put a rubber band around both of your analog sticks so that you can actually go afk and not be kicked from the lobby so now literally that's all for the glitch that is literally all you have to do so now you are afk make sure you are actually holding your button down to accelerate now i recommend getting some blue tack to stick it down or just using salad tape something like that so that you are constantly driving forward and make sure that you do have a rubber band around your analog stick so you are always spinning around as well this just makes it so that you can't get kicked for idling make sure that you actually plug in your controller as well so it doesn't actually die you can leave this overnight or while you go out once you come back just go ahead and complete the mission and what you should see you'll get a large amount of money and rp from doing this method so i hope this did actually help you guys out if it does help you guys out make sure you leave a like subscribe comment and make sure that you do enter the modded account giveaway if you do want a chance of winning